Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is showing you how to change your Linux kernel. Now there's a number of reasons you may want to do this, whether you need to downgrade it, because after a recent upgrade, you are having some sort of hardware issues, or if you want to switch over to something like the Zen or hardened kernel for a performance boost or something like that. Now my specific use case and what I'm gonna be doing in this video is actually changing over to the Zen kernel because of just better compatibility with Android applications for a future project. Which by the way, that will be coming out soon, so make sure you're subscribed and you ring that bell so you do not miss that video. Now with that, I'm gonna go ahead and log into the system here and the first thing we're gonna to want to do is go ahead and open up our terminal. Let's make this a little bit bigger and you can already see what my current uh, version is in NeoFetch right here. I'm running the 5.13 Arch kernel, but if you need to quickly figure out what kernel you're actually running on your system, you can just type in uname-r, and then you can see that gives me that same output right there. Now, before we do this, let's quickly highlight the actual different kernels in our Arch system here. We have the mainline kernel, which is just the Linux kernel, and this is the latest stable Linux kernel that most people are probably using, and that's probably on your system in if you're using something like Garuda Linux or any of the other distributions that ship with a different kernel. And then we have the LTS kernel, which is good if you don't want to actually upgrade your kernel all the time and it gives you the longest term support. And then we have the Linux hardened kernel, which I mentioned a little bit ago, that is more geared towards uh, security concerned individuals. And then of course we have that performance tuned kernel, which is the Linux Zen kernel. If you're interested in learning more about these actual kernels, I'm gonna go ahead and link down below so you can read up on them and figure out which one is gonna be best for you. So with that, I'm gonna actually install the kernel that I want, which is going to be the Zen kernel. So I'm gonna do sudo pacman-s, and then we're gonna go linux-zen. Now, depending on the kernel you want, you could either go Linux, you could do dash LTS or hardened, but I am gonna go with Zen enter type in your password and then right here we can see the latest zen kernel it's the same kernel version it's just a fork of the regular one but with some tweaking and uh those performance improvements we have the download size all that we're going to go with yes to go ahead and download and install it so now with that kernel installed what we're going to go ahead and do is edit our grub configuration settings so we could go ahead and switch to it pretty easy and to do this we're just going to do sudo nano and then go to our grub configuration which is in uh ctc default forward slash grub, hit enter, and this is our grub configuration. And now the first thing I'm gonna do in here is actually uh, disable the grub sub menu. Uh, when you first boot, you'll see advanced options for whatever. That's the sub menu, and that's where you could go ahead and pick your kernel. Uh, I'm gonna disable that so you won't have to go into that sub menu to actually see that. And you can see here it's already set to Y. If it's set to N, you're gonna to want to change that to yes to disable that, but in Endeavor OS, it's already where we want it to be. And now up here, you can see something that says uncomment to make grub remember the last selection. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uncomment that. So grub underscore save default equals true. And then we're gonna go up to grub default, which is right up here. And we're gonna change grub default to saved. So now when we reboot our system and we see that grub uh, come up and we can pick our kernel, it's going to default going forward to our last selection. So now what we do, control O to write this out, let's exit out. And now we need to reload that configuration file so it can actually recognize the changes that we made. And to do that, we're just gonna do a sudo grub dash make mk config dash O boot grub grub.com, so CFG enter, type in our password, and now it's gonna go ahead and generate that file. And now what we can do is actually reboot our system. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, you can just type reboot, hit enter. And now when we boot, we can see we have the Endeavor OS on Linux Zen and the regular Linux kernel. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the Linux Zen. Let's go ahead and sign on in here. And then we can go ahead, let's open up our terminal and just do a real quick uname. So uname-r. And you can see now we are running the latest Linux Zen kernel. So that's how you do it. It's a pretty simple process. If you're in something like a Manjaro, you have a, a GUI tool that you could actually use to do this if you would 
prefer, but it's just a lot funner to do it this way, in my opinion. So with that, if you look down below, we'll have a link to an article that will show you all the different commands that we used in this video. A uh, big thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. And like I said earlier, later in uh, the week, we're gonna be playing around with Android applications on Linux. So make sure you're subscribed and you ring that bell so you don't miss that. If that video is already up, you go ahead and hit the I up there or there, I don't know, to uh, watch that video. Uh, with all that said, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day, and goodbye.